Imagine your favorite Christmas ornament. What does it look like? Let me tell you a story. A little girl would always go to her grandmother's house for Christmas. She always enjoyed spending her time with her family. But she also liked seeing the small cut out paper birds on her grandmother's Christmas tree. She always thought that was weird to have that be a Christmas ornament, but liked it nonetheless. One day, she found those paper birds in the trash can at her grandmother's house. Confused, she asked why those paper birds were in the trash. She soon learned that those birds were made to help her grandmother cope with depression. Today I want to talk to you about how art can help people cope with depression, anxiety, and other mental disabilities. Many of you are unaware of how big depression and anxiety can be. About 284 million people worldwide suffer from anxiety, while 264 million people suffer from depression. To show you how big that is, that is about 7% of people worldwide who suffer from both anxiety and depression. Imagine how greater this world would be if people learned the meditative process of art therapy. To put it in perspective, studies have shown that art has not only helped patients with anxiety and depression, but people with ADHD, autism, dementia, and so much more. Many of you know that people with these types of mental disabilities are hard to handle, but with the process of art therapy, it can help those people feel more rooted when creating and or drawing out their frustrations. Many of the patients have explained that when they draw out their frustrations or anxious jitters, they feel a bit more positive. For example, when I was younger, one one of the days, my stress and anxiety was really high and none of my other coping skills were working. So instead, I grabbed the nearest pencil and paper and started scribbling. Of course, scribbling was probably not, not as artistic in that moment, but it helped me get my frustrations out. To this day, I still use art as a way for me to cope with my struggles. I know art isn't for everyone, but maybe if you're having a dark day, try using one of the many techniques of art therapy and see how it affects you. Maybe, maybe it'll do you some good.